Squeegee. I'm back from hiatus from YouTube window cleaning videos. I just wanted to do a short residential video. Um, you know, a lot of the time I run into instances like this where I'm scraping every damn window because of screen burn and it's, you know, a nightmare. So I figure I get out here and show a little bit of that, you know, because it's always uh, commercial windows and, you know, you always see uh, guys are always posting uh, cleaning, clean windows. In my opinion, they're clean windows and these are some filthy fucking windows. So, um, you know, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what a little abrasives will do. Um, I use a scraper, a six inch Triumph scraper, the Z40 stainless steel uh, blades. And that is a bronze wool pad on a doodle bug thing. You know, I tried to go just the doodle bug, you know, no scraping. But um, as you'll see, I have to go to scraping here. So, you know, you just go with what works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a little funkier than you thought it was. And in this case, it was a little funkier than I thought it was. So I was like, oh, okay, well, bust out the scraper. And now these will look... 100% better for the customer. You know what I mean? You just got to be careful scraping, man. Make sure you always pay attention because you could be scratching the glass. You should know almost instantly if there's going to be an issue. You'll be able to hear it. It's a very uh, distinct sound when you're scratching a piece of glass. So, you know, these are uh, pro moves, pro techniques, not beginner techniques. So, you know, it's up to you on whether or not you want to implement them. But I like to scrape screen burn stains first before I put any chemicals or any of that stuff on the gra glass. Scraper, bronze pad, and a, a mop. If that don't get it off, then we'll go to a little more extreme measures. But it's not going to be easy off or uh, any of that stuff. And you can see these sills are dirty as shit. Um, this is all sped up like four times just because I wanted to get... All this information, all this video in here, and uh, that way you guys could, you know, kind of see the process of what I go through. And this is a first time clean. This house has never been cleaned before. This house has been here, I think they said 15 years, and they've never had the windows cleaned. So, um, construction, they, they never had a construction clean. So, <laughs> there's actually uh, drywall on the inside of these windows. I 
did the inside. I just didn't save the video. So, but yeah, it's just, you know, ridiculous, man. Drywall uh, spatter from the ceilings being done still on the windows. It's, it was it was a nightmare. And, uh, you know, they just seemed to, to not care. <laughs> but they're nice people, and uh, we booked for uh, the spring, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is a couple of days ago. Um, it was warm. And then today I shot some more video and it was cold. So you'll see a difference in a tire here. Shorts one day and jeans and uh, jeans the next. So welcome to Ohio. That's my under zero degree. You know, my 18 inch. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, my 18 inch. Just a total nightmare this was. But, you know, it came, everything came out really good. They were really, really happy with the way everything turned out. Um, I just feel scraper and steel wool or bronze wool is the way to go on most stains. Um, I usually try to, you know, test a little spot, see if the window is going to take the scrape. And if it won't, I'll use the bronze pad. I'll just scrub the shit out of it, you know. No chemicals. I don't, I don't use chemical, diamond magic or any of that stuff. Oh, here's a beautiful day today. Stretch out the 24 here and uh, bang out some windows. Um, I think in this video I'm actually using Reach It's one of Reach It's new uh, strip washers. Uh, it's a prototype, so they're not. I don't think they're available yet. I could be wrong about that, but I'm really liking this uh, blue mop that I've got. I mean, it's super sweet. Um, real tight uh, to the washer bar. It's not all flippity and floppity. The only Problem I have with it is the the Velcro. They need to work on the Velcro, the fastening system. But other than that, it's badass. Super duper scrubbing powers. Super duper. Fat boy on a ladder. It does happen. But uh, just wanted to, you know, get some ladder work in for you guys. A little commercial, a little uh, residential work. Um, bang out some glass here. Um... I'm not going to be doing any residential work here in the next couple of months. It's going to be pretty much nothing for a while. So um, just commercial work, and you guys will get tired of seeing that stuff. So I wanted to make sure I've been documenting every house I've done, you know, or I've been that I'm doing. So, you know, I, we have some footage for you guys. So uh, it's been a minute. It's been nothing but podcasting and trips to KC Mo and all that crazy horse manure no window cleaning video so here's a window cleaning video speaking of the podcast uh if you're listening to this and you want to be a guest on the outlaw window cleaner radio show man send me an email to ask t squeegee at yahoo.com again that's ask t squeegee at yahoo.com and uh we'll have you on man we're not biased we'll have anyone on you got something to say or offer we're down to listen I love my zero degree sque squeegees, uh, my handles, man. You guys and the S plus uh, channels, they're just awesome, man. I'm a huge fan. <clears throat> this house, I mean, I do this house once a year, and it just, you know, it's on the lake. It's just, it's beat. And it's been spider sprayed three times, you know, so it's the shit. She don't ever get it uh, taken off, you know. She doesn't have me come out and clean the spider spray off, so. They're destroyed. She's like, oh, I squirt them down with a hose, so I get whatever. So, <laughs> uh, I I just do what people tell me to do. Whatever you want, lady, I'll do it. You know, that's kind of how I do things. So, I can give them suggestions. Their neighbors, I do their neighbor's house uh, four times a year. I do her house once. <laughs> you know, everyone's different. You know, so. You know, but there's that that new washer, man. I really like this washer. Really like that strip washer. It's really awesome. Richie Blue was right about that strip washer. A close up of my zero degree. I love that fucking. I love that channel. Those S plus channels and that handle that Unger from Unger are just. They're awesome, man. Reaching over bushes and all that good stuff. I just I love it. Working on a pole, it's just badass. My favorite tool, squeegee wise, that is some door work for that ass. Wah, 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 wah. Yep, see, I got the work boots on, the blue jeans. It's that time of year, man. Um, 
this is going to start to slow down, so I'm going to have to find other things to make YouTube videos about, so I feel sorry for everybody. <laughs> I screwed up there, so I had to go back and redo it again. Oops. You know, I do screw up. You know, we all screw up. My videos aren't perfect, so, you know, hey, there's that. Winter cleaning, baby. Winter cleaning. That gunslinger, man. Gunslinger's dupe. I love it. I love my gunslinger. I'm using one, the one without the loop today in the front, just to kind of show you guys. I've got a two squeegees. A washer, an 18-inch washer, 18-inch uh, flat squeegee, the S+, Plus, and the 16-inch uh, Unger brass channel. And then I've just got my uh, my 6-inch Triumph scraper just stuck in the fold of the uh, the tip jar there, man. It holds it good. So holds it super awesome. So you don't, and you can put a channel in there, you can put a scraper in there. You know, you don't have to have the, uh, you don't have to have the, uh, the loop in the front, you don't have to have that. You want to carry extra stuff, you still can. Uh, Gunslinger's not very limited as far as that's concerned. It's It's got storage capacity. I don't know. It is what it is, though. This is... These windows are, they're just so bad. They're so funky. I think, I hope you guys get to see. I don't know. I might have just missed it. I was looking at my phone. <laughs> uh, they're just, they were so bad with spider spray. I mean, the guy just, he insane with spider spray. All of it's got can and mold spore on it. It's just a, you know, a very hard, not a very hard clean, but a very uh, in a thorough cleaning every time I do this. But yeah, man, uh. Hope you guys enjoy these videos, cause um, it's kind of, I'm kind of running out of. It's hard to do these videos now, you know. It's just how many times can I show professionals how to clean windows? And if you're new guys, I mean, you know, I don't really see a lot of new guys, cause I'm not a WCR dude, so that's more Luke's thing. So the guys that find me are usually guys that have been doing it a while. So you know, street cred. That's what this is for, street cred. If you guys uh, want to. Uh, any Outlaw Window Cleaner stuff, go to www.outlawwindowcleaner.com. We sell Black Diamond Squeegee Rubber on there, Legend Channels, um, black, uh, the T-shirts, Outlaw Window Cleaner T-shirts, coffee mugs. It's pretty dope. If you want a gunslinger, go to www.futurecleaning.com forward slash gunslinger and buy you a gunslinger, man. They're badass, dude. They're just like the best kid on the market. I don't care what no one says. You know, you ain't got to like it, but you're going to have to learn to love it. So, you know, hey, what can you do? And again, guys, man, if any of you guys listening want to be on the podcast, you own a business in the window cleaning industry, power washing industry, I mean, hit us up, man. We'll have you on, dude. Uh, ask T Squeegee at yahoo.com, man. And send me an email or hit me up on private message on Facebook or, you know, whatever, man. And we'll get you on the show. Um, or not. Or not. But the show is going to be revamped. I know I've been talking about it for a little while now, but it's getting ready to be revamped for the next year. So, you know, again, you know, thanks for bearing with us. And uh, we're going to put a lot more effort into the show this winter and uh, get it rolling like a top. So um, we appreciate you guys. And uh, this is T Squeegee Man. And we'll see you later. Oh, peace. Ah.